Thank the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. This morning is Father Aaron Nord. He's with the Archdiocese of St. Louis. His grandparents have been in town, so he comes out and visits about once, visits his grandparents once a week, once a year. And so he's going to be with us most of this week. Today's um, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Done that already. Here's a feast, the presentation of the Lord. It's uh, 40 days after the birth, the, the mom was supposed to go for purification. And Jan was 31 days, February 1st, 2nd is 33, at 25th and 31st of December, that's 40 days. It's 40 days since December 25th. So, marriage purification, presentation of Jesus in the temple. We'll celebrate that today. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, on what I have done, on what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to lasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we present it to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. says the Lord of hosts, 
but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lime. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. and glory for your people, Israel.
When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It made real to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Manuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who are awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Walk through our gospel passage a little bit. So Mary and Joseph are poor. They're offering two turtles and two young pigeons. You can do that, but you can't afford a lamb in a pigeon or a lamb in a turtle dove. So Jesus is born into a family who don't have a lot of money. And then Simeon, probably a man well on an age, has been waiting patiently for the Messiah. And then revealed to him that that day, the Holy Spirit goes, is going to be there. So it's a many years, perhaps, to finally to see the Messiah. But when he prophesies, that is, he'll be the glory of the people of Israel. Remember, Ezekiel was in, you know, back in, we're talking 570 BC, um, 580, 570 BC. He is prophet in Babylon. And he's praying the people in Babylon for destruction of the temple and destruction of Jerusalem, which would happen in 587. BC. So he has a vision of the Lord God leaving the temple. And then at the temple, the news of the temple just destroyed. Later on, he has a vision of the Lord God returning. So here you have Simeon, St. Jesus, the glory of Israel. He is God. The Lord God has returned to the temple. And the first, the second person who trained him, Jesus. Then he tells Mary that this child will be the fall of rise of many. Either he'll be the Messiah or they'll reject him. He'll be judged because of that. But also, sorrow will pierce you. Fearly speaking, as she looks upon him, 
on a cross. She's going to suffer. She's going to face some suffering, some mental anguish. During a time when Joseph thought, you know, what's going on here? There was anguish there. But now, the son of yours, who's the Messiah, it's not going to be all roses for you. It's going to be sorrow. The mother of God is going to know sorrow. And then we have Anna, the prophetess. This is seven years of the husband after her marriage, and then a widow of 84, which means her marriage lasted seven years, then her husband died. She knows sorrow. So say she was married at age 14, husband died when she was 21. So she's been a widow for 63 years. She's no sorrow. So you see, waiting for Messiah, you see Mary being told you're going to suffer, and then Anna the prophetess, widow for 63 years, husband died after seven years of marriage. We see suffering, difficulty. But what comes into this? Jesus Christ. This baby. It is going back to something else that Simeon said. man is righteous and about away the consolation of Israel. The raise him to console, the raise him to comfort. All the suffering, all the sympathy of comfort and soul. So let's go back to the Old Testament. Isaiah. Isaiah is also prophesying during the People are, are suffering during the exile. This is Isaiah chapter 40. This one to comfort. Give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak to the Jews and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is achieved. Indeed, you see the hand of the Lord down for her sins. Comfort, give comfort to my people. Those who are in exile. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 9. Break out together the song of Jerusalem. The Lord comforts his people. He redeems in Jerusalem. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So the Lord has in mind to me. Jesus quotes this as begins the public ministry. He said to bring glad tidings to the Lord, to heal the broken heart, to become liberty to captives, and release to prisoners, to announce a, faith, a year of favor for the Lord, a day of dedication by our God, to comfort all who mourn, to place all those who mourn in Zion and die in the set of ashes. Give them more gladness in the place of mourning. A glorious man is the one of a listless spirit. He comes to bring comfort, consolation. It's just now. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. Blessed with the born spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed they who mourn, they will be comforted. Blessed the me, but they will inherit the land. The Beatitudes comes to bring comfort, consolation to those who are in difficulty. <clears throat> we live all this through difficulty. We're in a pandemic right now. Our Lord comes to bring comfort, consolation. So the blessing of the new covenant, which we're in right now, we fully realize when, well, not here, but in heaven. 
We all go through difficulty and suffering. But the promises, the constant of consolation are filled where? In heaven. Jesus offers us the consolation, the comfort, the hope. That beyond the struggles and hardships of this life, is eternal blessedness the life to come in heaven. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, we have seen the very death of God's love. In confidence of that, let's offer our prayers to God. For our Pope, bishops, and priests, may their preaching and teaching bring the light of Christ to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for a lasting injustice in our world and for the protection of all children in areas affected by war. We pray to the Lord. Lord for parents that God grant them an abundance of love and patience for their children. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all children, may they grow in wisdom and grace within the joy of a loving family. We pray to the Lord. Lord for our parishioners, family members, and friends who are ill, and for those who contracted the coronavirus, that God grant them patience, strength, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord for our friends, family members, and parishioners who have died, and for all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus, that God grant them the joys of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the intentions of Paul de Rossier, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, be light to those in darkness. Come and shed the darkness of our world the light of your love. Hear our prayers and hands according to you, we through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Perfect generosity. Lord, Lord, Lord teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to cross. To fight and not to leave the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest. To labor and not to ask for reward. Say that in knowing that I am in your will. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit with the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours accept, O God, the Almighty Father. May the offering made with exaltation by you, church, be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. If you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed, revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation with angels and saints praise without end as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all have created right that gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice we offer to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously and holy, these gifts we have brought to consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. The night just betrayed, he himself took bread, and gave me thanks to the blessings, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat them, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, to pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the more the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection ascension to heaven, and as a forward to a second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon your look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and fill with the Holy Spirit, become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Germain and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray on them, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity of Pilgrim Church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, the system bishop, who ordered bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, gracious, the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasant to you at their passing through this life, give kind and minister kingdom. They will help to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom still in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. The lens was called the Supper of the Lamb. The Lord but only say the word, and my soul shall be
within us and as you fulfilled Simeon's expectations that he would not see that to be privileged to welcome the Christ so may we going forth to meet the Lord attain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord Amen. the first two of the month so holy our vacation is right after Mass remember this month First Saint Michael, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you to we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord, my God.